Okay, here we have two schools that have rented buses and vans. Okay, the first school rented six vans and ten buses and they had a total of 636 students. The second one had five vans and six buses and they had a total of 397 students. So we're assuming that the buses and vans are completely filled and we want to figure out well how many students fit in the vans and how many students fit in the buses. So I'm going to start by letting V equal the number of students in a van. And B is going to be the number of students in a bus. So I'm going to use the ditto marks here so I don't have to write that again. Okay. So let's look at high school A. So they rented six vans and ten buses and got two hundred I'm sorry, and they got three hundred and thirty six students. So what they have here is six of the number of students in a van and ten of the number of students in a bus for a total of six hundred and thirty six students. So I can represent that by six times the number of students in the van plus 10 times the number of students in a bus equals 636. Okay, so I'm going to do a similar thing for the high school B. They had five vans and six buses. So five vans plus six buses equals 397 students. Okay. Now I can solve this one in various ways. Um, I'm going to solve it by using the addition method. Um, the addition method, when you're using the addition method, you want the coefficients on the variables of the two equations, of one of the variables on two of the equations, on the two equations, excuse me, to cancel each other out if they were to add up. So they need to be um, opposites of each other. The easiest way to do that in when they're completely different, you know, one's not the multiple of the other, is to multiply each of these equations by the coefficient on the other equation. Um, also, one needs to be negative and one needs to be positive. So when you add them up, they equal zero. So I'm going to multiply the top one by negative five and the bottom one by positive six. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these I made positive and which one I made negative. I just decided to make the top one positive. I'm sorry, negative. 6b plus 10b equals 6. Now, you got to make sure you multiply both sides of the equation by that variable. I'm sorry, by that number, by negative 5. So 5v plus 6b equals 6 times 397. Okay, so if I, let's number these, this is the first one, and the second one, so 1, 2, so let's find out what I get in equation 1 when I distribute the negative 5. I'll get negative 30 V minus 50 B equals negative 3180. Okay, now let's do equation number two. If I distribute the six, I'm going to get 30v plus 36b equals 2382. So once you get the two of the coefficients to be opposites of each other, then you can add the equations together. That's why this is called the addition method. And you do it column by column. So I'm going to add these v's together and we'll see that that gives me 0v, which is good because I wanted one of them to have a coefficient of 0. And then minus 14b equals negative 798. Okay, so what I have is the equation negative 14b equals negative 798. So I have an equation with only one variable that I can solve just by dividing both sides by negative 14. So b is equal to 57. So now all I need to do is find v, and the way I'm going to do that is by substituting this b into either one of these original equations. 
Okay, now you want to make sure you always use an original equation in case you um, made a mistake here somewhere. Um, that way, you know, you won't have two mistakes. Okay, so let's just use the second equation. 5v plus 6b equals 397. And I'm just going to substitute this b in there. So I have 5v plus 6 times 57 equals 397. So 5v plus 342 equals 397. So if I subtract 342 from both sides, I'll get 5v is equal to 55. And then divide both sides by 5, I get v is equal to 11. So remember what this represented. V represented the number of students in a van, and B represented the number of students in a bus. So V would be 11 students, and B would be 57 students.